All right, welcome to Pong. In this chapter, we will write our first game in Scratch, which will happen to be a two-player game. So you'll be able to play this game with your friends after you're done. So here's how this game is going to work. We have this dark background filled with stars. So we are in space and we have a basketball in space that will bounce in between the sides of the stage and in between two platforms, one controlled by one player on top and one controlled by another player at the bottom. The ball will start in the center of the screen and it will shoot in a random direction at one of the players. If it passes one of the platforms, the other player will score a point. As the ball bounces off of the platforms, it will start to pick up speed so that the game starts becoming more challenging until one of the players will lose the ball and the other player will score a point. So we will implement all of this mechanics in our game. And as we go along, we will also learn a lot of programming tricks in the meantime. We will learn about coordinates and direction and generating motion and reflection. Before we start, go to the course page, the course dashboard, and download the file attached to this exact lecture, this pong.zip. So download this to your computer. After you download this file to the folder of your choice, either on desktop or anywhere else on your computer, you'll have this zip file, which I recommend you extract. That is, either double click on it if you're on a Mac, or right clicking and click on extract here if you're on Windows. And you'll end up with this little file called pong.sb3. And on the Scratch website, go to your stuff and click on new project, which will create a default project. Go ahead and click on file and then load from your computer. And from the dialog that pops up, click on the Pong SB3 file that you obtained after unzipping the lecture resources. And after you've done that, you'll see this empty Pong project that we will use in this chapter. We have some sprites that are already created for you so that you don't waste time creating them. So we have a basketball and the two platforms, one for the red player at the bottom and one for the blue player on the top. And we have a simple backdrop with some stars in the background. So we are in space. So at this point, we should be good to go. If you have any trouble downloading or unzipping or using the materials from this lecture, feel free to let me know. Ask in the course Q&A because I'm very quick to respond. At the end of this chapter, we have another zip file with Pong finished, which will contain every single script that we will write in this chapter. So if you get stuck in any way, you can use this project to figure out what went wrong or simply enjoy this finished game. Okay, so all that being said, I'm so excited to teach you how to write Pong in this chapter, starting in the next video.